What's up, my people? This is Lalo, and yep, I'm back. I know it's been a minute, but I had a lot going on. I had to move some stuff around, shuffle some people around, and uh, just trying to stay out of trouble. You know, it's it's a tough <laughs> it's a tough journey when you uh, a multiple convicted felon, and you're just trying to stay out of trouble and live a normal life and try to be a lame, you know, and just you know fit in but you know the system be trying to you know keep you at a bare minimum so you gotta move things around and and and, and it's, it's a struggle but it's not about me i'm back and yes i've been keeping up with the young thug trial i've been keeping up with uh the trump and kamala um uh <laughs> I don't know what it's called now, but at last time you guys heard from me, it wasn't Trump and Kamala, it was Trump and Joe. And I made a lot of predictions during that time. And, and I don't know if you wanna go look back and check for yourself, a lot of those predictions are, have come true, um, and, but there's more to come. Um, that did a lot of uh, many predictions, even with uh, Fannie Willis uh, predictions, but uh, like I said, I had a little hiatus from YouTube. I'm still on social media, so if you're not following me on social media, make sure you do so now. Uh, the main pages on social media, as far as Instagram, is Lalo Visions. That's L-E-Y-L-O underscore V-I-Z-I-O-N. Uh, then you got, uh, make sure you go follow Black Rabbits 7. It's spelled just like it said, Black Rabbit 7. Um, uh, you got Twitter, Lalo Visions the same. Lalo Visions across the border. Uh, on, on everything. Uh, let me see what other social medias that I got that are important. Oh, TikTok. Make sure you find me on TikTok. TikTok is uh is 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 L eleven 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 seven forty seven, which is spelled E one one E V N one one seven forty seven. So follow me on TikTok over there. And also, I got my film festival coming up shoot your shot film festival you can google that and follow all the social medias for shoot your shot film festival so that's coming up in september make sure y'all go check that out i got a lot of films i'm covering this year um but yeah let's get into it man um i'm not gonna do a lot, whole lot of covering right now because i'm still setting up my um you know <laughs> my little station you know what i mean where i can stream from uh, so just give me a minute on that, but I, I wanted to go ahead and get everything rolling and, and, and kind of get you guys updated to what's going on. Uh, I think last time we spoke, Lil, Lil Woody wasn't on, on the stand just yet. All right. So if you, if you've been watching and paying attention, Lil Woody's been on the stand and of course, everybody is like, you know, he's snitching or whatever. Of course, that's what he's doing, if you understand. Um, but in the beginning, you know, people was like, oh, Thug is going down, you know. Uh, but I, like I told y'all before, man, Thug is coming home. I'm still standing on that. Um, I stood, you know, I never wavered, even watching the trial, because, you know, I'm in Atlanta for one, and, and I know how the system works, so I, I knew exactly what was going on. It wasn't new to me. So, um, and, and that's pretty much what they do, you know, they, they let the uh, prosecutors go first and the prosecutor's job is to make, you know, whoever's on the stand, which at this time was Lil Woody, you know, look like a credible witness. But of course, we're starting to see now, or I, or I hope you guys are starting to see that he is not a credible witness. Uh, not only is he not a credible witness, but he's proven that he actually lied on Young Thug and all of his uh, co-conspirators. So, uh, which basically, the case is in the trash can right now. I don't see where they can save it. But like I said, I'm standing on um, what, what, um, what I said before, what I predicted before, that Young Thug will get a not guilty and he would come home. And when I said this, everybody thought I was tripping. Y'all thought I was tripping. Man, y'all thought, yeah, he going to jail. He going, he going to get life in prison. Nah. Nah. I knew exactly where this stuff was going. And I don't have no inside information. 
Uh, I am an empath, but it, it was, it's just more than that. I've, I've been through the system, so I understand what exactly what was going on. And I know I, I know I see a lot of people, a lot of attorneys that are following me on my social media platforms that I post a lot about. I update a lot about this. Well, not a lot, but enough where these attorneys are uh, not contacting me, but following me. And they're looking into the, some of the things I'm saying and they see that what I'm saying is definitely true. So um, Lil Woody has got on the stand and he's told all these stories uh, to detectives, which they've been playing the videos of the stories he he is telling to detectives. Uh, they've played they played several phone calls um, that that he spoke about in while in in jail on the on the jail phones. Now I, I want to speak about the jail phones real quick. Like somebody who's been through the system enough. Uh, we already know that the phone calls is being recorded, right? We know that. So we, most of us know better than to say certain things on the jail phones when when we know it's being recorded. Now, of course, you have a couple of guys here and there that just, they dumb as hell, and they'll get on there and start talking crazy anyway. <laughs> But when you're dealing with a case like this, that's uh, high profile, um, or you or you're dealing with a person that is high profile, which was the case at the time, and he wasn't, you know, Young Thug wasn't even locked up or charged. When you're dealing with a person that's high profile, you you think ahead. If you're smart enough and you know not to say certain things online, right? So if you do say certain things online that that's called the finesse you know that's that's a play you're trying to run because you know you know they listening so it's it's a strategic move that a lot of uh criminals use which i was once a criminal um so i know they listening so i'm gonna say certain things on the phone to finesse them into a certain direction that will hopefully uh or ultimately uh set me free you know because the goal is for you to be set free and, and and beat whatever case that you've been charged with, and that's basically the case with 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 Lil Woody. He was uh on the jail phones talking to this person, that person, and this person and that person probably that he was talking to probably didn't even know what move he was doing, didn't understand it, or just didn't understand it to a degree. You know, they thinking one thing, especially with a when, when you talk to females. For some reason, they just never understood what you're trying to do. Um, I mean, that's in my case personally. Like, I've done this before, what little Woody is doing. Not to the extent what I'm actually telling some, on some somebody, but I would, like, say things that would finesse whoever's listening to go look in another direction than they already looking in, which was me. Um, so, you know, when you're dealing with women over the phone for some particular reason they don't understand what you're because you have to speak in code and you hoping that you spent enough time with them and and gave them enough information about the game that they they get it what you're trying to do once you get on the phone with them but for some reason they never do they get to talking reckless and you going back and forth with them you know trying to get them to understand look this is we need to be talking like this not like what you're trying to talk about um so yeah, uh, I think that's what kind of happened with those phone calls that I was hearing. That he was trying to uh, put some finesse in the game, but it was it was a lot of fumbling going on because who he was talking to really didn't understand what he was what it, what the mission was. They didn't get the memo. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, you know, eventually he got off the phone with that because it just, it, 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 he felt like it wasn't working. But fortunately, it, it works in in Young Thug in Young Thug's favor in this trial. Uh, so Young Thug is, uh, you know, I can see him smiling in his mind. Uh, I can see Brian Steele. Brian Steele is doing a hell of a great job. And if you're watching this now, that means you just uh, seen the cross start started to cross examine of Young Thug. I mean, not Young, Young Thug. Cross examine of uh, Lil Woody. Uh, featuring Brian Steele 
and Sharp and uh, the other attorneys. I can't remember the names right now, but I will get to that in the coming videos. Uh, but yeah, right now, you know, the, the phone calls and then you had the, the uh, interrogations where, again, uh, a, a person like Woody, he would know that the cameras are recording in the room. He already knows this. So he basically has told them time and time again that whatever he said to the police, he lied. Now, I I know what, how I grew up and, you know, in the era I grew up in, we don't talk to the police at all, period. You know, when you go into a interrogation room, if they take you in there, uh, the first thing you should be asking for is an attorney. Once they, once you ask for an attorney, it doesn't even matter what you say after that. They can't use it because you've already asked for an attorney. They're supposed to stop asking you questions, but a lot of time they continue to ask you questions. And it doesn't matter if you answer them or not at that point. Once you ask for an attorney, once that comes up in, um, in, in the courthouse or in your trial or whatever the case may be, once it come up and the judge is aware of it, whatever is said after that cannot be used. Uh, unless you sign a waiver, because sometimes uh, I've, I've, I've heard of situations where, and they've tried to make me sign waivers before. Uh, I never signed any waivers, but there have been situations where someone would ask for an attorney, but they keep talking, and then uh, the agent or whoever's interviewing the detective, they'll come back with a waiver and ask them to sign the waiver. That way it cancels out the attorney privilege uh so yeah unless you sign that waiver they cannot use whatever you said out there but you don't need to be saying anything anyway you know once uh you say uh once you walk into that interrogation room the first question they ask you you need to just respond with i want an attorney i want to speak to my attorney and that should kill everything they should they should at that point make arrangements to take you over to the jail so you can call your attorney. There's something in my eye. But anyway, um, so yeah, you know, Lil Woody, uh, let me see, let me see here. Lil Woody, he was uh, definitely um, doing a lot of uh, talking in the interrogation room, but it has come, uh, brought, been brought to the attention of Brian Steele and all his other partners uh, that are attorneys for the hit, uh, Young Thugs co-defendants. To convince them, you got to tell them a little bit what you think they know. And look, I'm not about to go back for you. Got one. Yeah, so there it is. Like, so he's been finessing detectives and whoever was questioning him the whole time. Yeah, and... You know, I'm from Atlanta, so I understand the finesse game. And I understood it from the beginning. When I'm listening to him talk from the beginning, while everybody think he's he's uh, telling on Young Thug, which he was technically, but he knew the information that he was giving these people was bogus. Had they went and did their homework, there would be no trial right now. And that's basically what we have come to. We have come to... Uh, uh, basically a standoff between the prosecutors and the defense. The defense has, the prosecutor didn't do a good job of proving the case. And once they finally tur turned everything over to the defense and cross-examination of little Woody, it ain't been but a few days. And uh, Brian Steele and his team have already basically uh, shown the jury that um, this is all bullshit. <laughs> this is all bullshit, you know. Um, and I made a video. Make sure go go out. I'm gonna put my social media down here somewhere, right? So make sure you go follow my social medias because I've been. I'm about to start updating this trial a little bit more, making more videos about it because I wasn't gonna speak on it at all because it was an ongoing trial, ongoing case. But now, um, this this trial is over. It, it's just procedures now. They're even talk. The judge is even Judge Whitaker, the new judge. Last time we had, you know, last time you guys heard from me, we had Judge Glanville. This is a whole new judge now. We've been to four judges. But anyway, 
the new judge, Judge Whitaker, she's uh, she had just had a meeting with the prosecutor and the defense and basically told him, y'all need to come up with some plea agreements. And that's because they know the trial is over. Judge Whitaker knows this trial is over. You're wasting taxpayers' money. This trial is not even about Young Thug no more. This trial is about Lil Woody. And 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 it's only going to get bigger because it just got into uh, the cross-examination or the defense's hand. It just got over there. So and they've been... Uh, They've been questioning or, or, or having the little Woody on the stand for a couple of months on the prosecution side. So now the, now the defense just got them. So it could easily be another couple of months. Easily. So, yeah, with that being said, man, make sure y'all follow all my social media. Hey, hit your boy with some donations because I need to I need to move fast to, to get y'all this stuff so I'll get this information to you. I got a lot of information to give you. And like I said, I wasn't going to speak on this case at first. Uh I wasn't um going to give you updates, but this trial is over. Believe me when I tell you, this trial is over. So, hey, free young thug, he going to come home. All his co-defendants coming home. You know, if 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 they do come up with a plea deal, it's going to be stuff with time served, but Personally, I wouldn't take no deal. No, you 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 wasted my time with these bogus ass charges. Give me my not guilty. That's what you do, and and let let young thug go off in the sunset with his team, and and, and just take over the world. You know what I mean? And I, I'm sure young thug. Did y'all know the young thug didn't even know uh, little Woody for a, about a year, and and didn't even really personally know him, know anything about him. He just knew him for about a year. So, you know, it's crazy. I got a lot, you know, to cover on this. But Free Young Thug, man, go follow all my social medias. Uh, I will be updating soon uh, on this platform. Make sure you like, subscribe. Um, yeah, it's back up. It's the Lalo Show. It's up. Yeah.